Hi everyone, I'm Flight Control and I would like you to welcome you to this new video series. This video series will regard to cargo handling, which is a new module that has been created in the Moose framework for this year's world, of which both myself and Funky Frankie are the creators of at the moment. Um, this is a very new feature that we are about to release as part of release 2.4. And uh, we're really excited to bring this to you. We have created a lot of new modules that allows you to transport cargo using AI driven carriers, multiple carriers like APCs, um, you know, helicopters, airplanes and later ships. And also cargo transportation to be executed by human pilots as part of the tasking system where you can achieve mission goals by deploying cargo at defined deploy zones. So let me give you a short demonstration of what this cargo is about and yeah, hang on. Right, so I just opened a small demonstration mission that I created to illustrate the cargo handling functionality. In this uh, demonstration mission, I'm having a couple of carriers here, which are just helicopters, right? Which you can join and fly around. And the idea is to transport uh, a couple of cargo elements that are spread out over the simulation environment towards these three deploy zones. And each of these deploy zones belong to a specific tasking where you have to transport a selection of these cargoes towards one of these zones. So let me jump in one of the helicopters and demonstrate how this is working. Right, so let us join a MI-8, which is gonna load and it's starting up the mission in the meanwhile. Here we are. Now you see three tasks appearing. I need to use the radio menu, which I'm doing. So I'm pressing F1 for the command center, Lima. F3, mission operation, cargo fun. F5, and I'm going to join one of these transport tasks. I'm gonna select F1, build a workplace. Join task. And now the mission briefing is telling me that I should transport the workers, engineers, and the equipment near the workplace. So good luck. And there's a cargo coordination beta reporting, cargo metal, ready for loading. So there's already a cargo reporting that I'm close enough to a cargo to, to load, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna fly towards one of the other cargo objects that are part of the task. For this, I'm selecting F2 route to pick up cargo, board cargo, and one of these engineers I can start loading and I'll select F5. And when doing that, my helicopter suddenly gets coordinates from the headquarters to where I need to fly to get, you know, a, a good um, location for loading. And um, yeah, please forgive me my helicopter skills, guys. I'm not the best helicopter pilot. So let me try to fly smooth towards the cargo location and you can see the cargo location in bra vector method being appearing with a distance and an angle to be followed and I'm about 750 meters from the cargo location um, so I'm flying Bleed bleeding of some speed going into descent slowly right so here we are I'm close enough to the cargo and I'm instructed to land the helicopter near the cargo to be boarded so let me safely land the helicopter down like a safe landing and now I get the cargo that's near being reporting so now I can really choose I, it seems like I have a lot of cargo in the neighborhood so when I press now a five the tasking menu that I got 
and I can now choose here. It's a bit unclear. Boards cargo. See that? Now I can load one of those engineers. For example, engineers Gamma. So now when you look... Oh my god, that was close to the truck. That engineers Gamma is starting to run to my helicopter. And in the meanwhile, I can also um, load some more cargo. And this thing can be done in parallel. So the cargo transportation mechanism allows you to board as much cargo as you can do in the bay, in the cargo bay of the helicopter. Um, and I think an MI-8 can carry quite a lot. So I'm speeding up a bit. The, the yeah. So there we are. About 12 infantry in my helicopter right now. Right. So now all my cargo is boarded. Excellent. Now I can take off and fly towards the deploy zone. I don't know where the deploy zone is, so I'm using again the task menu. Now I can choose here F3, route to deploy cargo. F1, zone, workplace. Now I get the coordinates to fly towards those those workplaces. Um, slowly taking off and getting some speed here to get me safe to those to that workplace area which I think should be there somewhere yeah I know the location of course but you can see the routing is done automatically for you Again, you can switch this off. There are many ways of using this functionality. Those pilots who don't like it and want to use beacons, we're working on facilities to get that implemented a bit better. Um, for the moment, well, well, we'll just stick with what we have here. Because it's already quite complicated what we made. Okay, so let me land here quickly you see that i got arrived at the deploy zone and i can land my helicopter i'm still within the, the zone and i can land it safely here we are voila here we are so now i'm going to use F2 again, onboard cargo, engineers data, and you can see the engineers being onboarded one by one, as you would have in real life. Actually, I wanted to have them, you know, leaving the cargo bay doors and all the stuff, but yeah, it's impossible to simulate that in a good way. Oh, what am I doing? Excuse me. Um, back here, radio menu. Of course, I got other cargo in my bay, so I'm unloading the engineers, I'm boarding, there you go, I'm loading, I'm unloading the, oh, there we're not boarded yet, okay, and I'm going to unload the remaining engineers there, and once they're on board, you can instruct them to to walk towards a certain point where they will gather. Right. I'm boarding beta. And this is it basically. This is the first, um, you know, mechanism that's been implemented. And there's much more so i really hope you stick to the videos here um, there's really a lot of functionality that's been added here around cargo and there's a lot to explain so i will have to make over the weeks coming quite some videos and funky frankie is also working on another class that he will introduce very soon so i really advise you to stay tuned to this stuff and uh, we're just gonna make some videos 
to explain you all of this, how to use in the scripts, etc. Okay, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video and see you later.